Hello and welcome to the fast track edition of Tools in Anesthesia and Critical Care. In the inaugural edition, we are discussing what's new in the 2015 guidelines by American Heart Association for CPR. This is the first of the series fast track lectures in tools for anesthesia and critical care. The content is based on the available literature released by American Heart Association online. Here we are discussing, initially let us look at the 2010 adult BLS algorithm. It actually emphasized the chest compressions and high quality CPR. Regarding chest compressions, the buzzword was push hard and fast. Regarding chest compression rate, the recommendation was at least 100 compressions per minute. The latest recommendation gives you a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute, adding a caution that higher rates of compression actually reduce the effectiveness of the chest compression. Regarding chest compression depth, the previous recommendations recommended at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters for an average adult. It holds good even now in the present recommendation, but it cautions that compression depth should not be greater than 2.4 inches or 6 centimeters for an average adult. The recommendations always emphasize to limit the interruptions in chest compressions. The latest recommendation gives you a target chest compression fraction of at least 60 percent. The new recommendation also adds the use of intramuscular or intranasal naloxone in these situations, known or suspected opioid addiction patient going in for respiratory arrest and this is applicable only for appropriately trained BLS providers. Coming to the adult ACLS algorithm, from 2010 guidelines what all things have changed. Regarding oxygen supplementation, present guidelines clearly says maximum freezable oxygen can be given while CPR is going on. Regarding ultrasound use during cardiac arrest, ultrasound has been added as an additional method for confirmation of endotracheal tube placement, though the recommended class 1 gadget or method for confirmation of endotracheal tube being entitled capnography even now. It also cautions that use of ultrasound should not hamper or interrupt a classical ACLS procedure or CPR. Vasopressin is no more part of the drug tray in view of uh, equivalence of effect with epinephrine and regarding epinephrine the new guidelines clearly gives uh, timing recommendations for non-shockable rhythm epinephrine can be given as soon as feasible and shockable rhythm there is insufficient evidence to recommend a particular timing of epinephrine regarding post cardiac arrest care previous recommendations said after return of spontaneous circulation or ROSC no response to verbal commands go in for therapeutic hypothermia but the 2015 recommendation temperature target is 32 to 36 degrees celsius and it emphasizes a recommendation to actively prevent fever in comatose patients regarding oxygen supplementation in post cardiac arrest care it says highest feasible fao2 can be given until po2 or oxygen saturation can be measured the considerations for potential organ donation are added in the present recommendations. So these are the salient changes from 2010 recommendations to 2015 guidelines. So the take home message is keep calm, it's simple. All these lecture series are available in my Facebook page Tools in Anesthesia and Critical Care do make it a point to like the page so that all the updates will be intimated to you and these contents are all also available in my youtube channel thanks again for watching fast track version of uh, tools in anesthesia and critical care looking forward to meet you in the next lecture